So firstly, immune therapies. This ASCO, we're going to see great results in terms of uh, activity of immunotherapies in active melanoma brain metastases. Very important, unmet clinical need. And the bottom line is we see great activity, particularly in the combination of nivolumab plus ipilimumab, naive untreated patients, about a response of 50%, progression-free survival 46% at six months, and the same number at 12 months, meaning if you have a great response and there's a 50% chance you will, then it tends to be long lasting. So that's amazing for patients with active growing brain metastases. Secondly, we'll be looking at circulating free DNA measurements and how that can help us predict whether a patient is going to respond or not to immune therapy. As you know, we have to wait for three months before we do a scan and even then, a small proportion of patients may actually have growth in their tumours before you see the shrinkage. So wouldn't it be great if we could do a blood test at six months so that we can really determine whether people are going to respond at three months. And so there is a poster on circulating free DNA and how helpful that is. We see a drop in circulating free DNA from the tumour by around six weeks, long before we do the scan. So even if you see growth on the scan, but you see drop in the circulating free DNA, you can be confident that that patient will be responding and continue treatment, so that's important. We're seeing long-term data from immune therapies, which look really good from the Keynote 006 phase three trial. We're seeing the three-year overall survival results and the three-year progression-free survival and continuing to see that those complete responders do really well long-term. Um, so that's probably the summary of the field as it stands. Um, we are now starting to use immune therapies in the neoadjuvant setting. So that is before we resect stage three resectable disease, we'll give them six weeks of immune therapy, then resect their melanoma to no evidence of disease. Um, and we have just started that trial and the poster on that trial is being presented at ASCO as well. So that's the immunotherapy landscape, uh, looking very good long term um, and active in brain.